This is a computer science brain teaser that's designed to challenge your skills at handling uh, linked lists. And it's based on a special data structure that we're going to be inventing ourselves, which is a hybrid of a doubly linked list and a tree. So here's how it goes. The data structure has starts off with a doubly linked list, whereby every single node has two pointers, a next pointer and a previous pointer, a next pointer and a previous pointer. This is an ordinary doubly linked list that we've all seen. And the first and last elements would have one of their pointers pointing to null. So this one would have the previous pointing to null, the next pointing to null right here. And we'd have a tail pointer and a head pointer. This is an ordinary doubly linked list. Now the slide variation we're adding right here is that every single node will be accorded a child pointer. And that child pointer could be pointing at the start of another doubly linked list. So it would be tr pointing at a child, and that child would have a next, previous, and also a child, and so on and so forth. So th for example, at this point we might have a, a, a list of two elements. So this would be null, and this would be pointing right here, and this would be null. But we still only have one head and one tail. This is part of the definition of the problem. There's only one head pointing at the first element at the first level of the of this complex data structure, and one tail pointing at the at the last element of the first doubly linked list of this complex data structure. Because, like you can see here, every single node could have a child of its own. For example, this node might not have a child, and it would be pointing to null. But every single node has a child pointer. This one, for example, is pointing at another child, and that child is the start of another list and this pointer might be pointing another child which is the start of another list and this child which is the start of another list itself could also have a child pointer pointing at another uh, uh, node and that node would be the start of another list and so on and so forth so you so you can see that you get this multi-dimensional data structure composed of doubly linked lists where each element has a child node which could create another doubly linked list so we have multi multi levels right here so this is the multi-level data structure that we defined, and let me just add the specification or the definition of every single node in that data structure. So this is the C code to define a node here. So first it starts off just like a normal uh, doubly linked list. So you'd have struct, you'd have a pointer pointing to the next element. Sorry, this is previous. Let's delete that. This is next, and you'd have a pointer pointing to the previous element just like an ordinary doubly linked list. The addition that we are creating right here is the pointer to the child, which may or may not be pointing at an actual child. It could be pointing to null. So this comes from a tree. This is the tree part of this complex data structure. And this is the uh, doubly linked list part. And then we'd have, of course, the data itself that we're storing in that node and then finally you just close it off this way. So this is the definition of one node. Now that we've defined the foundations of our problem, let's actually define the challenge. The challenge is as follows. So you've seen this multi-level data structure. Now the challenge asks you to flatten out that multi-level data structure and create a one-level data structure based on all the elements in that data structure. So now that we've seen all these elements, suppose they were numbered as follows, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and all elements would have a number, then we want that all of the elements appear this in this one level data structure, which is a doubly linked list, and it would have head pointing to the actual head of the list, and tail pointing to the last element of the list. So you'd have to actually update tail. Head doesn't necessarily have to be updated because it'll be always pointing to the first element of the list. So you could start here and then move on in whichever order that you want, by the way. So we're not really defining an order that you have to follow. You don't have to necessarily start level by level or go by depth. This is up to you to define. But we need all the elements to appear once in that one level data structure. So you'd have to flatten out the list. And then this is the first part of the challenge. The second part of the challenge is to take out this flattened out list and to unflatten it and create the multi-level data structure that we had earlier. So basically just the reverse of your code. So define the algorithm and write